Hi, Aki here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the TPLL command. This command is super useful, and you're going to have to use it for everything. The first thing we're going to do is go to Google Maps, and under Layers, select Satellite, and have Globe View Activated, and Labels Deactivated. It is very important that you have Globe View Activated, as that is going to make things precise, and if your city has 3D data, it's going to show you that 3D. So we're going to do this red building right here, and we're going to right-click on the roof's corner, and then do slash TPLL and paste the coordinates. And that's gonna be our first marker. We're gonna do the same with the other three corners of the building and mark them all down. Once we're done, we're gonna connect each corner using slash slash line. And there we have the outline of our building. Now, all of this has been using 3D imagery. It is possible that where you're building, there is no 3D data. So if you're gonna make a road, you do it as we just saw with 3D data. You just select the points and then join them up with line. But for buildings, as you can see, they're slanted sideways. That's because the satellite that took the images did not pass directly overhead. Buildings, the higher you go, the more slanted they are. If you have 3D imagery in your city, use the 3D. Do not put it in 2D mode like I did. I did this for demonstration purposes only. And if you don't have 3D in your area, remember to have globe view activated in the layer section. So we're going to TPLL to all the corners of the roof just as we did before. And then we're going to connect them using the line command. And there we have our building marked out, but as you can see, compared to what we marked using the 3D data, this is extremely out of place. So what we're going to do now is shift the outline to the position where it needs to be. For that, we're going to select it and then find a corner we can see touching the ground in the satellite imagery. In this case, the bottom right hand corner, we can see where it connects to the ground. So we're gonna stand on that corner in game and use double slash cut. Then we're gonna TPLL to that same corner, but at ground level. And once we're here, we're gonna do double slash paste. The minus air means that air is not gonna be pasted. And now our outline looks pretty similar to what we had with 3D imagery. And that's your outline done. Next episode, we're going to see how to measure heights. Have a good day.